Arewolo, at the opening of IUM's academic year, emphasized that the new center will allow graduates to explore opportunities not only in Namibia but internationally too. The IUM last year also established a Center for Environmental Studies to provide postgraduate and undergraduate training on environmental degradation, climate change, and global warming, the first of its kind for Namibia. A Center for Knowledge Science, meant to facilitate training for a knowledge-based society, is also up and running. In light of the disruption of face-to-face -face learning owing to the COVID-19 pandemic, Arewolo indicated that IUM is ready to embrace technology. We are preparing our students to be able to stand, stand strong and compete successfully with their equals in the job market for positions within and outside Namibia, to be creative and emerge as a core of young entrepreneurs who are themselves employers of labor, to be able to think outside, outside the box and come up with innovative solutions to the pervasive problem of employment and the challenge of poverty and sustainable development in our society. IUM founder Dr. David Namwandi in his address reassured students that they will not regret their decision to enroll at the institution. He also reminded them of the institution's zero tolerance policy on plagiarism, saying it is nothing else but academic thievery. While at this point, let me wholeheartedly welcome new students and assure them that the decision they have taken to join us shall never be regretted. All I'm advising you is to bear in mind that education is two-way two dimensional. While professors and lecturers are expected to mold you and polish you academically, yours is to do your part. You should thus not expect to be spoon fed at the university level. The IUM, he also added, remains committed in pursuit of developing skills to solve problems in both the private and public sector in Namibia and beyond. Kaiba Herikanji, NBC News, Vinduk.